Well, thank you for joining us on another episode of The Pursuit. I'm Pastor Rick, joined here with Pastor Harper. And if you'll notice, we've got some desserts out. Uh, mm-hmm. Big two events here happening in our church. We're celebrating two big birthdays. Yeah. This past week, we celebrated 113 years as a church. Yeah. Um, and this, actually today, the day of the recording of this video, right. is Pastor Kivett's birthday. So yep. we want to wish Pastor Kivett a happy birthday. Now, we want to give the people what they tuned in for they're here for the icebreaker. The, oh, yeah. yeah. We'll eat that later. The icebreaker. So, Pastor Harper, you want to share our icebreaker? Yeah. Our icebreaker is what is your favorite childhood TV show? All right. Okay. Growing up, you watched, you know, whatever. Right. Okay. So, I'll start off. Yeah. And, and I, I might lose some people with this one because it's it's really mine. When I was growing up, I got into that show, Alf. You ever heard of Alf? Okay. Yeah. Watched it. It was on Monday nights. It was a show. Uh, I was a little kid at the time. I think one Christmas, my folks got me the Alf, like you know, stuffed animal. Yeah. It was a cool thing. I liked Alf. It was funny. Hmm. I think I learned a lot of my wisecracks from that orange alien. Yeah. Is that a, uh, I don't know much about the show. Is that a kid's show? Wasn't it? I, I, I mean, show, right? I think but kids just could watch it. it. As a kid. Yeah. Okay. yeah. They didn't block people from watching. It, right. it was equal. <laughs> it was anybody, anybody could watch it. After the censorship. Yeah, stuff. any age. Any That's age. Good. Yeah. Um, mine, uh, I, I would, when I think back to one of my favorite shows growing up, I think of Chips. Okay. You know the the. Um, yeah, I know the show. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah they're on motorcycles. And right. Um, yeah. Yeah, that was one of those like, as a kid, I don't know. I just liked watching it. I but again, that. But again, you're you're significantly younger than me, and even yeah. when I was younger, so it's not like you had to rush home to catch the new <laughs> episode of Chips. No, no. They. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay. But for some reason, that was just the. I remember that. That's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. So, so I'm guessing you were. Were you? I don't even remember the, what was the guy. I know Ponch, but Ponch who was his partner? Fonzie. Yeah, I think that's, was... nobody knows who this guy is. That's how important he was to the show. Isn't that sad? Ponch and that guy. All right. Oh, man. Well, take some time right now with, with your group to discuss. What was your favorite show to watch as a kid growing up? All right, so this week as we continue in the Sermon on the Mount series, Pastor Kivett got to the section talking about divorce. And so in here, Jesus is talking about the importance of the marriage and that relationship. And so as we talk about this, we want to kind of just talk a little more on a practical level of what divorce does and how that causes um, and impacts you yeah. know things long down the road to yeah. come. And so really looking at that long-term effect of divorce, how does how does divorce affect the family long term? Take some time right now and talk about this with your group. We're well, continuing this discussion. We want to focus on more practical side to a lot of this. Mm-hmm. We understand that there are people watching this video who have been touched by divorce in some way or another. And we want to make sure we, we discuss this because we've talked about it a little bit before we start recording yeah. that for a number of years, uh, Divorce was seen as the scarlet letter, mm-hmm. and it was like once you once you've gone through it, it was hard to it, w- it was hard to go over it or hard to come back from it, and and it was just seen as a stigma. Yeah. But we understand the way the world we live in now, people have been touched by this. Mm-hmm. So we as a church want to be a resource to, of comfort, want to be a, a safe haven and a place of comfort. So we what we want to do is take some time right now as groups to discuss how could we as a church. How could you as a small group or even individually bring comfort to those who have endured, are enduring it, but have endured divorce? So take some time right now with your group to discuss this very sensitive issue. All right, finally, as we talk about this, we want to kind of talk about some of the preventative measures or some of the things that kind of lead up to divorce. And so really the question we want to ask is, uh, kind of what practical help is there uh, that can help marriages that are struggling? And, you know, we all can be uh, honest about this. Yeah. No marriage is perfect. Right. It takes work. It's something that isn't uh, as it's always portrayed uh, on social media or in movies or shows or anything like that. And so really talking about some practical help, all right, when there are those struggles, when there are those difficulties, how can we help each other through those times? How can we lean into others, be open and vulnerable about that with those around us? Yeah. Well, once again, thank you for joining us on another episode of The Pursuit. 
As always, you can watch previous episodes of The Pursuit by clicking the link provided on the screen. Yeah, go back and catch up if you missed any sermon videos in our series. And you can click the button to subscribe so you don't miss the videos as soon as we put them out. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next week. This week, we are celebrating a special day in the life of our church, Pastor Kivitt's birthday, 21 years old. Happy birthday, Pastor. (laughs) 